So here's what you missed when you didn't watch the Provoker's Session 1, Brick is Burning. The story begins in a tavern known as the Wayward Wanderer, which was formerly a watchtower belonging to an empire that existed a thousand years ago. Now, it has an early bird special and probably has bingo nights on Thursday or something. It is here that our heroes gather for the first time and are united in their quest to introduce their characters. Dice sits in a corner and shaves. Braswick plays with fire. Erden broods, and Durgan says something so profound that the internet deems it unworthy of our ears. Did anyone who can read freedoms to other than he would probably... And just absentmindedly thinking, what would drive a man to do such a thing? Okay. After a bit of a back and forth between characters, including Braswick offering to ease racial tensions with Erdon by offering to get him drunk, the door flies open and in enters half-orc Fabio. Fabio and his two stooges, Itchy and Scratchy, take a seat and immediately it's apparent that they are up to no good and trying to make trouble in the neighborhood. Fabio boasts about having recently slain a dragon and having a nice scar to prove it. Dice doesn't believe him and goes all NSA on his brain, delving deep into his emotional psyche and really pissing him off. He didn't slay the dragon, Dice said. Fabio was all like, uh huh, and Dice was all like, nah uh. And before you know it, Fabio tried to punch Dice right in his unshaven half elven face. From here, we have a Donnie brick involving a lot of punches being thrown. Erdon brings the sword to a fist fight. Braswick yells loudly. Dice hits Fabio in the face with some ice magic, and Durgan pounced on one of the stooges like a cat. Before long, the fight was over. Fabio and his stooges, Ren and Stimpy, hightailed it out there. Everything calmed down for a while. The owners of the Wanderer revealed themselves to be Rorge and Rian, famous adventurers. Dice takes a moment to fanboy out. A knock at the door brings everyone back to alert, but this time it's a group of refugees who have just escaped the city of Brook because, spoiler alert, Brook is burning. Turl, a survivor, describes a man in armor wheeling around overhead on Griffinback while evil forces kill and burn below. His description matches that of a convoker, but his actions are contrary to their peacekeeping nature. Convokers are basically described as the Jedi Knights of the world, and the group speculates that perhaps this convoker has fallen to the dark side. Rianne suggests that the group give themselves a name like the Frolicking Rhinos or something. Everyone else all, everyone almost agrees until Dice says, well, if we're the opposite of a convoker, then maybe we're the provokers? Hey, what do you know? That's the title of the thing in the... Anyway, the group agrees to venture forth to Brick in search of a sacred artifact that means a great deal to the former residents of Brick, and just like that, an adventure is born. The Provokers set out the next day, character development and whatnot happens as they journey to the Temple of Gephion in Brook in search of the artifact. The Provokers stand at the foot of the temple and amp themselves up before finally going all Leroy Jenkins on four big dudes camped inside. A battle rages for a while, with the adventurers often keeping to the windows and to the walls as the raiders get all stabby-stabby on Dice. Durgan thrusts his hands through the window and gives Dice a little healing something-something. A moment later, fire bursts forth and catches some of the provokers in it. Dice yells his catchphrase, freeze the meat, for the second time, and the DM is promptly disconnected from the internet, ending the session in a cliffhanger. I leave you with Barker's Michael Bay-esque director's cut ending to the session. He explodes in, in, a, in icicles everywhere, uh, yes. all around the room. Icicles Terminator are, 2. Yeah, Terminator 2. Yes, <laughs> uh, stuck in the walls and the ceiling and the floor. And you know what? Uh, the other person that was in there looks at her and just so terrified, she explodes too. And boom, yes. they all explode. Everybody yes. explodes. The temple explodes, but every one of us lives. We're standing there yes. uh, with this obliterated amount of rubble around us. And then and this, coins griffin, begin falling. this griffin comes flying down from the sky uh, <laughs> with the convoker, and it crashes into the ground, exploding <laughs> and, yes. and leaving nothing. Uh, nothing is left except for a small satchel of, uh, of gold. And we move and we pick it up. And when we pick it up, we hear a clink sound, and it's... It's in our inventory, and then we all high-five photo op. <laughs> yes!